everybody welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars. Well it was Patriotic Week slash Americana Week which was kind of funny because a lot of the pros on the show are not even American. But whatever they love America. They're working aren't they? Alright so Ralph and Karina started off the show with a samba and there was some difficult choreography in there. You know uh, Karina wasn't letting Ralph off easy and he looked like he was having fun, but he really needs to make the whole thing prettier for us to watch, I think. He's got the basics, he just needs to work on his uh, dynamics, I think. So they ended up with a 22, which unfortunately was one of the lowest scores of the night. Uh, Chris and Cheryl were up next with a Viennese waltz. I thought he really did a great job with this. Um, he definitely has been improving week over week. And Carrie Ann had opened her big fat mouth and was like, Chris, I think we've underestimated you. No, you've underscored him every week consistently. <laughs> you know, finally he got the score he deserved this week. He got a 26. Um, I don't know what the problem was in the past, kids. All right, uh, Petra, Petra, I always get this wrong. Petra and Dimitri, they had a quick step. Um... I thought she really did a great job with this. Despite a few rough patches in it, um, she looked amazing, <laughs> if that counts for anything. I mean, she really looked beautiful. Uh, she ended up with the one of the lowest scores, a 22, and I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed that the judges were so harsh with her. Romeo and Chelsea, uh, they had a foxtrot. How many times this season did he say, I'm the youngest one on the show? We get it already, okay? We get it. And what are you, like, younger than uh, Chelsea by, like, hours? I don't know. I'm not sure how old she is, but maybe she, <laughs> for all I know, she could be, like, 30. Maybe she looks a lot younger than she actually is, but... This was his breakout week. Um, he brought it this week. He really worked hard. I thought this was his personal best. Uh, 26 for that dance. Heinz and Kim had a rumba. And it was just enough sexy. Although I'm sensing a little bit of phoniness in the chemistry between Heinz and Kim. I mean, like, I think he's got a smile plastered on his face half the time. Well, he did on this dance anyway, but... I thought I really think he's a natural when it comes to this type of dancing on on a show like this, and I thought he was really great. Um, Twenty seven for them. Kirsty and Max uh, Foxtrot. First of all, they had to cheese it up by having John Travolta come out and be the dance doctor. You know, I guess Kirsty threw him a bone because you know they're old buds, and I'm sure the show wasn't saying, "Oh no, don't have John Travolta not show up." For, uh, second of all, what was in Max's pants when he was standing there? I mean, that was scary. <laughs> that really was. It was a good dance, but what the hell was up with her outfit? How much money did they have to pay her to make her wear that outfit? Because it was hideous. It was a train wreck and I couldn't look away. All I, I couldn't barely concentrate on the dance. All I could think about was that horrific outfit. They ended up with a 23. I guess they deducted points for the outfit. Kendra and Louie danced the foxtrot. They had the honor of dancing the 1,000th competitive dance. Say that 10 times fast. And Kendra isn't effing afraid of elegance. <laughs> you know, what can you say? <laughs> there was a whole lot of stiff marching around in this dance and the judges were all like, oh, that was so much better than last week. Not really, not really. The judges ended up throwing them a bone, in my opinion, and giving them a 22. You know, any other couple being out of hold that much, they would have complained. But I guess since she's special, <laughs> they didn't complain so much. I don't know. Chelsea and Mark closed the show with their samba. And uh, the singers were horrible. They All they had to do was sing Miley Cyrus Party in the USA, and they really screwed it up big time. It was horrible. Um, the dancing, however, was pretty great. There was glimpses of really great dancing in there. Um, I thought it was the best of the night. 
Len had other ideas. He was extremely stingy by only giving them an 8, so they ended up with a 26, which gave them the second best dance of the night. I think they were robbed. Somebody arrest that man. They were robbed. Tomorrow night, Toby Keith. Hello, I smell country music coming up. Till then, much love.